with a rather breathtaking silhouette, the Ford Fiesta MK5 looks good. What cannot be said about pre-styling copies of the MK4? Richer versions equipped with a sunroof and alloy wheels deserve attention. Particularly interesting are the gear trim levels, which have a leather steering wheel and gear lever, fairly high-quality upholstery, wood imitating plastic lining, power steering, power windows and air conditioning. The Fiesta will appeal to those who appreciate a sporty driving style for a not-too-big and thick steering wheel, a well-tuned suspension and a pleasant gear selection mechanism. Unfortunately, adults on the back sofa will be cramped. Not enough space in any area. Positive emotions from the car are spoiled only by mediocre corrosion protection. Even accident-free specimens have rust on the rear fenders and sills. The good news is that you can still order parts for body repairs over the internet. The best choice in the engine range is a 1.25-liter gasoline aspirated. The block is cast from light alloys, and the unit design was developed jointly with Yamaha. The engine runs quite smoothly, spins well and is relatively economical. The motor has two camshafts driven by a toothed belt. The operating instructions provide for the first replacement of the timing belt with rollers after 120,000 and subsequent ones every 90,000 kilometers. But on condition that in the area of the timing drive it is perfectly clean, no dirt and smudges. In fact, it is better to reduce the replacement interval to 60,000 kilometers. Here we are dealing with mechanical valve clearance adjustment using washers. Practice shows that such a system works best on high-speed motors. If gas equipment is not used, then adjustment is not required even after 120,000 kilometers. Not every mechanic will have adjusting washers of the required size. A typical ailment of most specimens is high oil consumption after 120 to 150,000 kilometers. An effective solution is to switch to another oil a higher viscosity. However, it should be remembered that Ford sets strict limits regarding lubricants. The 1.4 and 1.6 liter 16 valve petrol engines are similar in design and offer more driving pleasure with reasonable fuel consumption. Depending on the operating conditions, the fuel appetite lies in the range of 5 to 10 liters per 100 kilometers. Avoid cars with 1.3 liter petrol and 1.8 liter diesel engines. In the first case, we are dealing with an outdated design the camshaft is located directly in the block. The main advantage is the timing chain drive. Disadvantages, mediocre performance, rough operation and high fuel consumption. Due to the specific design of the intake manifold, it is not recommended to use LPG equipment. In case of accidental, lumbago, it is easy to damage it. Atmospheric diesel engine with a volume of 1.8 liters and a power of 60 horsepower has acceptable performance and low fuel consumption. But unfortunately, it is not reliable. In winter, it starts up with great difficulty, and the timing belt can break long before the planned replacement date. After restyling in 2000, the 60 horsepower diesel engine was replaced with a newer one, the Endura DI version. This engine is already much more interesting. It received direct fuel injection and became more reliable. Did not deliver more trouble and the timing belt. The Ford Fiesta suspension is simple and cheap to maintain. On the front axle are classic McPherson struts with triangular levers. Ball joints and silent blocks can be replaced separately, but this is not always easy to do. The rear suspension is built on the basis of a torsion beam, which simultaneously plays the role of an anti-roll bar. Only three elements need periodic replacement. Silent blocks at the points of attachment of the beam to the body, shock absorbers and springs. Interesting fact. The Fiesta 1.6S version, 1999-2002, has the same suspension setup as the sporty Ford Puma. Compared to the Fiesta of the 6th generation, the MK4-5 is not impressive. It is noticeably more compact inside and protects much worse from the consequences of a collision. On the other hand, the Fiesta 4 is significantly cheaper, and the 1.25-liter engine is brisk, quiet, and economical. 
A well-groomed copy will fully satisfy the needs of unpretentious drivers and is well-suited for the role of the first car.